Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video I would be talking about biochemistry viva important questions which you should read before going for your viva. So let's get start. So our first question is what is polyuria? Enumerate its causes. Polyuria is the excretion of more than 2000 ml of urine in 24 hours per day. It will be seen in following conditions. Excessive intake of water, polydipsia, physiological exposure to cold, intake of drugs with diuretic effects like caffeine, alcohol, thiazide and other diuretics. Increased salt and high protein intake will require more water to excrete it. Diabetes insipidus, lack of ADH, diabetes mellitus, increased blood sugar, chronic progressive renal failure. So our second question is, what do you understand by the term oliguria? Enumerate its causes. Oliguria is the excretion of less than 500 ml of urine per day. It may be due to water deprivation, loss or decrease of intravascular volume due to hemorrhage, prolonged diarrhea, dehydration, vomiting, excessive sweating, congestive cardiac failure, obstruction to urinary tract, prostate hyperplasia or carcinoma, bilateral ure ureteric obstruction due to stones, clot or stricture, acute kidney disease, damage, acute glomerulonephritis, intestinal nephritis, acute tubular necrosis, ATN, renal ischemia, heart failure, ADH overactivity and hypotension. And our third question is, what are the common causes of cloudy or hazy urine? Urine may be turbid or cloudy due to presence of crystals, leukocytes, etc. Alkaline urine, phosphate, ammonia, ammonium urate, carbonate crystals, acid urine, uric acid and urate crystals, leukocyte, pus cells, cause heaviness in case of urinary tract infection, chyluria, obstruction of lymphatics in the urinary tract due to filariasis. Normal amber color of urine is due to presence of which compound? The amber color of urine is due to presence of urochrome. Enumerate the causes of yellow or greenish yellow color of urine. Yellow urine is due to concentrated urine, fever or in diarrhea, bilirubin, urea, jaundice obstructive, and ingestion of vitamin B complex riboflavin produces yellow urine. And now greenish yellow urine, bile pigments, obstructive jaundice. Give common causes of red urine and also black urine. Red urine, hematuria, presence of RBC. Hemoglobinuria, myoglobinuria, ingestion of reform pcin tablets, and black urine is due to alkaptonuria, blackening of urine starts from top urine, alkaptonuria, blackening of urine starts from top, melanuria, malignant melanoma. What do you understand by the term alkaptonuria? Alkaptonuria is an inborn error of tyrosine metabolism due to lack of enzyme homogentisate oxidase. This leads to excess excretion of homogentisic acid in urine. Understanding the urine gets oxidized becomes black from the top to bottom. What is the clinical significance of measuring the specific gravity of a urine sample? Specific gravity of urine depends on the amount of solute present in the urine. The specific gravity of normal urine lies between 1600 to 1025. Specific gravity measurements reflect the relative degree of concentration of dilution of urine sample. This aids us in evaluating the concentration of the and diluting ability of kidney. Urea, sodium chloride, sulfate, and phosphate contribute most of the specific gravity of normal urine. Low specific gravity, specific gravity is smaller than 1.007, hypoesthenuria, diabetes insipidus, chronic nephritis. And high specific gravity in case of excess water loss or dehydration, diabetes mellitus, glycosuria, increased solute, proteinuria, proteinuria, increased solute. 
specific, fixed specific gravity at 1.010 seen in chronic renal failure is indicative of severe renal damage in which there is disruption of the both concentration and diluting ability of the kidney. What is alkaline tide? A few hours after a heavy meal, approximately 3 hours, urine is seen to become slightly alkaline. This is due to the fact that after a meal, there is active secretion of HCL in the stomach which tends to make the blood more alkaline. To counteract this, the kidney eliminates a more alkaline urine. What do you understand by the term proteinuria? How much protein is normally excreted in the urine in 24 hours? The presence of heat coagulable protein in the urine is referred to as proteinuria. Normally in 24 hours, 100 to 150 mg of protein is excreted of which albumin makes up the major component. The determine the detection of an abnormal amount of protein in urine is an important indicator of renal disease. Enumerate the causes of functional or physiological proteinuria. Functional proteinuria is usually less than 0.5 grams per day. It is seen in dehydration, cold exposure, after st strenuous exercise, fever and postural proteinuria. Enumerate the different causes of proteinuria on the basis of amount of protein excreted. Proteinuria may be classified on the basis of amount of protein lost, heavy proteinuria, moderate proteinuria, and minimal proteinuria. The different causes are firstly, heavy proteinuria, more than 4 grams per day, nephrotic syndrome as a result of any renal infection, acute or rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis chronic glomerulonephritis, diabetes mellitus, moderate proteinuria 1 to 4 grams per day, renal infection, multiple myeloma, presence of calculi, nephrosclerosis, toxic nephropathy, minimal proteinuria less than 1 gram per day, chronic pyelonephritis, nephrosclerosis, congenital disease, polycystic kidney, postural proteinuria. What is Ben Jones proteinuria? Ben Jones proteinuria is a type of proteinuria which is seen in 20% cases of multiple myeloma, ma malignant lymphomas, and macroglobinemia. In multiple myeloma, the light chains of immunoglobulin are produced abnormally in the plasma cell. Monoclonal light chain, being of a small molecular weight, they are excreted in the urine. How will you distinguish between a regular and Ben Jones proteinuria? In Ben Jones proteinuria, when the urine is heated, the following are absorbed at different temperatures. 45 degrees Celsius, they start precipitating. 60 degrees Celsius, maximum pre precipitation. 80 degrees Celsius, protein starts redissolving. 100 degrees Celsius, form a clear solution. On cooling, precipitate reforms, reverse process takes place. What do you understand by the term microalbuminuria? Microalbuminuria or minimal albuminuria is a condition in which only a small quantity of albumin is excreted in the urine. The amount excreted is in the range of 20 to 200 mg per liter. They are an indicator of early and possible reversible glomerular damage. It is seen as a complication of diabetes mellitus and hypertension. It is usually detected or estimated by using immunological methods. Why should the urine sample be boiled before performing benzene test? Boiling the urine reverse two purposes. If any RBC is present in urine sample, the RBC cell membrane will rupture due to heating, liberating all the hemoglobin. Also, boiling will denature any peroxide enzyme that may be present in the urine sample. Why does blue color appears in the test? The reaction of benzene test is benzene plus peroxide in presence of peroxidase produces oxidized benzene blue color plus water. The peroxidase enzyme liberates nascent oxygen from peroxide.
peroxide and oxidizes benzidine by boiling we have destroyed or all peroxidase enzymes in the urine and also have liberated hemoglobin from the rbc the blood pigment hemoglobin shows a peroxidase like catalytic action and liberates nascent oxygen from peroxidase what is hematuria enumerate its causes the presence of rbc in the urine is known as hematuria causes are infection or inflammation eb calculi and carcinoma kidney ureter and bladder what is glycosuria explain its cause the presence of detectable amounts of glucose in urine is known as glycosuria it occurs whenever the glucose level in the blood increases more than the renal threshold for glucose that is the 180 mg per dl Enumerate the causes of glycosuria. The conditions leading to glycosuria may be broadly divided as glycosuria without hyperglycemia, renal glycosuria, alimentary or lag storage glycosuria, gestational glycosuria due to increase in GFR during pregnancy, all the filtered glucose may not be reabsorbed. Glycosuria with hyperglycemia, diabetes mellitus endocrine disorders Cushing syndrome acromegaly acromegaly pancreatic tumor cns disorder brain tumor or brain hemorrhage what do you mean by the term renal threshold give example of some common threshold values there are certain substances in the blood threshold substances whose excretion in urine is dependent on their concentration in blood at normal or low blood levels they are completely reabsorbed and are not excreted in the urine but when the blood level is elevated the tubular reabsorptive capacity is saturated so that the excess will be excreted in urine the renal threshold of a substance is defined as its concentration in blood or plasma beyond which it is excreted into urine so some substances and their threshold value in plasma levels mg per dl is given for glucose it is 180 mg per dl for lactose it is 60 mg per dl for bicarbonate it is 28 milli equivalent per liter for calcium it is 10 mg per deciliter for ketone body bodies it is 3 mg per dl and for ascorbic acid it is 2 mg per dl what is gestational diabetes it is seen that during pregnancy many women show the presence of glucose in urine glycosuria in spite of having a normal blood glucose level this is explained by the fact that during pregnancy there is an increase in the gfr and all the filtered glucose may not be reabsorbed leading to glycosuria appearing at relatively low blood glucose level name the non carbohydrate compounds which also give a positive benedict test glucuronides homogenetic acid alkaptonuria and vitamin c ascorbic acid explain why the urine of a pregnant or lactating lady show a positive benedict test and a negative glucose fix test during pregnancy lactation lactose may be excreted in the urine black lactosuria this will reduce benedict reagent but will not show any color change in glucose sticks because the strip has the enzyme glucose oxidase on its reaction strip this will only act on glucose present in the urine sample to produce peroxide which will react with chromagen present on the strip to produce different intensity of green color depending on the glucose concentration why is the benedict test also called as semi quantitative test for sugar in urine On boiling the sugar present reduces cupric hydroxide to red cuprous oxide depending on the extent of the reduction the color of the solution or precipitate may vary hence this test may also be used as semi quantitative method for estimation of sugar glucose in urine red precipitate above 2% Name the ketone bodies. The ketone bodies are acetoacetic acid, beta hydroxy butyric acid, and acetone. What is ketonemia, ketonuria, and ketosis? Ketonemia, elevated level of ketone bodies in blood. Here, emia means in blood, and ketonu, ketonuria, elevated level of ketone bodies in urine. Ketosis, presence of ketonemia and ketonuria in a patient. Okay. Name the different 
causes of ketonuria. The different conditions causing ketonuria are starvation, prolonged fasting, long period of strenuous exercise, prolonged and repeated vomiting, severe uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Name the starting molecule of a ketone body formation. The starting molecule for ketone body is acetyl-CoA. What is the main site for ketone body synthesis in the body? The main site for ketone body synthesis is liver. Name the organs which utilize the ketone bodies. All the organs of the body can utilize ketone bodies except the liver. Why can't the liver utilize the ketone bodies? The liver lacks the enzyme thiophorase which makes it incapable of utilizing the ketone bodies. What is the basis of Hayes test for bile salts? The presence of bile salts reduces the surface tension of the sample. This allows the light flower of sulfur to sink to the bottom of the test tube. Bile salts are formed from the breakdown of which compound? Bile salts are formed from the breakdown of cholesterol. In fact, it is one of the most important route for cholesterol removal from the body. Name the bile acids and bile salts. They are primary bile acids are cholic acid and quinodeoxycholic acid. They are conjugated with glycine or taurine to form glycocholic acid and taurocholic acid. And secondary bile acids are deoxycholic acid and lethocholic acids. Bile salts are the sodium and potassium salts of the bile acids. What are the functions of bile salts in the body? Presence of bile salts in the bile helps in emulsification of food during digestion of fat. By the presence of emulsification, fat globulins present in the food have been reduced to a very small globulins, thus exposing large surface area of fat on which enzyme binds and bring about digestion quickly. Bile salts helps in digestion of which diseases? Detection of which diseases? The detection of bile salts in urine helps in us in the identification of a case of obstructive jaundice and also hepatic jaundice. In Fouchet's test, the reaction takes place between barium chloride and magnesium sulfate to produce a precipitate of barium sulfate. What is the role of bilirubin here? When the precipitate of barium sulfate is formed, bilirubin gets absorbed to the precipitate and is filtered off. It is this absorbed bilirubin that reacts with the Fouchet's reagent. Name the bile pigments. From which compounds are they formed? The two pigments are bilirubin and viliburdin. They are formed from breakdown catabolism of heme part of the hemoglobin molecule. What is the blue or greenish blue compound formed when Fouchet's reagent is added to the precipitate on the filter paper? Fouchet's reagent is a strong oxidizing agent. It oxidizes bilirubin absorbed on the precipitate to the blue color bilirubin. Name the clinical condition which will give a positive Fouchet's test. This test will be positive in case of obstructive jaundice and also hepatic jaundice. What is the clinical importance of testing for urobilinogen? A positive ehrlich aldehyde test for urobilinogen will be seen in case of hemolytic jaundice due to excretion of large amount of bilirubin in gut, recovery phase of hepatic jaundice, release of obstruction in case of complete obstruction of the biliary passes. What would be the urinary and stool findings in case of complete biliary obstruction? Urine, positive Fouchet's test, bile pigment, positive haze sulfur test, bile salts, and urobilinogen, nil stool clay colored and for the appearance what why does the stool in a case of obstructive jaundice give a clay colored and for the appearance frothy in complete biliary obstruction no bilirubin passes into the intestine therefore there will be no stercobilin present since stercobilin gives the stool its characteristic yellow or brown color the stool remains clay colored also, no bile salts passes into the gut. Therefore, there will be no emulsification and digestion of fat. Therefore, the stool is covered with a layer of frothy layer. That's it. Thank you. All the best for your YY exams.